Hi there, it's David Murad here for Blue Blood Thoroughbreds. It's the 2nd of August. Welcome to a new racing season and happy birthday to all the horses that have gone up in age as of yesterday. Um, just go over last month's runners briefly. I uh, only had a handful of runners, so only six, so it was a fairly quiet month. Um, but we did get a winner there and a couple of placings, so it wasn't too bad. Um, kick off things with Baludi, trained by Mick Price. He kicked off this preparation with the win um, and has put in a couple of good runs since that win. His last run was pretty disappointing actually. It was at Sandown um, over 1200 metres. It was a bog track, heavy eight, which ideally we thought he would handle really well as he has done so in the past on a heavy 10. Uh, but look, it was the last race of the day and the jockeys did describe it as a bit of a uh, a, a paddock out there so um, he didn't handle the track and he tailed off in the end it was pretty disappointing but thankfully he hasn't gone amiss and it's onwards and upwards so um, just looking for a, a better a track on the day not necessarily dry just um, a, a neat surface and he'll bounce back to form he's in the nominations uh, will be accepted tomorrow for Flemington this Saturday over 1200 meters um, Benchmark 78, I believe it's in his grade, and expecting him to bounce back to form. So good luck there, owners. And Costanati for Bjorn Baker. He's um, been racing well this preparation. Um, fortunately, he hasn't been able to get on a dry track at this time of year, which he's really crying out for. He hasn't been racing bad. Um, last start, look, we're probably expecting him to finish a little bit closer and, and be in the money, but it was a heavy track in, at Canterbury. And it probably was a little bit heavier than than we anticipated. Um, Canterbury normally was a is a is a good dry good um, draining surface, but uh, the track was a bit of a bog that day also. Um, he's in at Randwick this Saturday over 1,200 meters. Uh, it's a right race for him. I've been told from Bjorn Baker that he's working extremely well. He expects him to put in a good performance. Hopefully, this rain that's predicted doesn't come. Um, which it's probably likely to, which is going to be a shame. So just hopefully the track doesn't get too wet for him, um, but he should put in 100% as he does. Blinkers go on, and look, hopefully we can see him in the money. Um, Lanero for Gerald Ryan. Uh, he's having a bit of a freshen up now. His last his last race um, was a little bit fair. He was at Hawkesbury on the 7th. Uh, he finished 5th. Um, he, he, he rolled forward as he usually does. Tempo wasn't overly fast. Um, we're expecting him to probably be a little bit more competitive, but he just um, just didn't have that dash at the end. So he's been given a fresh end up. Yeah, he's freshening up well. And um, um, next race could be on the 15th at Goulburn over 1400 meters. Looking for a dry track. It was soft at Hawkesbury as well, which um, may have just added to that disappointing result. Uh, he does like it firm. Um, Madame Zabiel uh, for John and Chris Ledger. She's been racing okay this preparation. She's had a, a place and a win uh, a couple of starts back. Um, and two races back she, was, she wasn't she was beaten far. Um, last start she choked down. She's had a couple of throat operations and um, uh, the jockey did try to restrain her in the run there. And as a result sometimes these horses with the throat operations can, can choke down which is what happened. So um, She's tried to have another run since then, but there's been a few abandoned meetings up uh, the northern part of Victoria there. So um, next race might be on Sunday at Echuca. If not, there's another option at Wangaratta on the 15th. So um, expecting her to bounce back to form also. Rosetta's way for Gerald Ryan. Uh, she's just gone out for a spell now. Um, it's been a good preparation for her. She's managed, managed to pick up two wins and she's been racing well. Last start was last Saturday at Rose Hill, um, where she ran a good race. Uh, look, she was she was up against some horses in real good form there, um, and she ran fourth. She put in 110 percent. She was only been less than three lengths, so it was actually a, a good effort. Um, so she's out for a spell now. She's a filly that's made um, good improvement with every preparation. So if she takes that good natural improvement uh, into this next preparation that she, that she has each time, 
uh, we think she's going to be right up to that grade. So very promising. Looking forward to her return after a six-week spell. And last horse to mention, certainly not least, star appearance um, for Gerald Ryan. He's been racing very well this preparation. Had a couple of placings. Had a couple of unlucky runs where uh, he could have been the winner or finished right there. Um, but his last start was exceptionally good, and that was last Saturday at Kembla Grange. Uh, he was uh, over over a mile. He was slow away. He settled last. He was giving them 12, maybe 14 lengths come the home turn. Uh, Mitchell Bell gave him a good ride and brought him out, and he just rattled home and and um, picked him up in the last bit and, and ended up winning by nearly a length. So that was um, a really great performance from him. Um, he's a horse that's, that has the ability, just hasn't put it all together yet. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to him going forward also. Uh, not sure where his next start will be. Uh, Gerald mentioned he might be looking for a bit further now, but we'll just, they'll see what's out there for him. Um, but looking forward to his next start. So that was the runners over the last month. Um, and that recaps that. So, um, go for this month's tip. Last month's tip, I tipped Yulong Baby. It was at Caulfield, and she finished second by a nose in a photo. Um, it was that close, you actually probably would have thought she had won it uh, watching the race. But anyway, she ran a place. She was playing decent odds. I think it was seven, seven a win, you know, two, two, two dollars something in place. So it wasn't too bad. Um, this month's tip, look, to be honest, I don't really have anything I'm confident on. Um, I've had a look at Warwick, Warwick Farm tomorrow, nothing really catches my eye. Uh, Warwick Farm can be a funny track when it's a bit wet also, so um, don't really have a particular tip for you. Um, if Randwick perhaps stays in the soft range by chance or isn't too heavy, um, I'm expecting in Costanati to run a good, way, a good race, so might be worth having something each way on him. Um, otherwise, that's all for, for this month, and uh, we'll catch up with you next month. Cheers.